What is full stack development? Full stack development means being skilled in both front end and back end parts of creating software. The front end is what the users see and interact with, like buttons and menus on a website. While the back end is the behind the scene work like databases and server management. Full stack developers can handle all the aspects of building an application, from designing how it looks to making sure it runs smoothly. Let us start now discuss the month on month plan of how you can become an amazing full stack developer. Number one, foundational front end technologies. Month one and two. During the initial two months of your journey to becoming a full stack developer, your primary focus will be on mastering the foundational technologies of front end development. HTML or hypertext markup language will be your starting point. This involves understanding the structure of web pages, learning about semantic markup, various HTML elements, attributes, and their roles in creating well-structured and accessible web content. Moving on to CSS or cascading style sheets, you will delve into styling web pages. This includes aspects like layout design, typography, color schemes, and ensuring responsiveness across all devices. You will have the opportunity to experiment with CSS frameworks like Bootstrap or Tailwind CSS to streamline your styling workflow and create visually appealing interfaces. Finally, you will immerse yourself in JavaScript, the programming language of the web. Here you will learn about variables, data types, control structures, functions, and the document object model DOM manipulation, empowering you to add interactivity and dynamic behavior to your web pages. Number two, front-end frameworks and component-based architecture months three and four. Transitioning into months three and four, your focus will shift towards front-end frameworks and understanding component-based architecture. This phase marks the exploration of powerful tools like ReactJC or Angular, which enable the creation of dynamic and interactive user interfaces. In addition to mastering these frameworks, you will delve into the principles of component-based architecture. This involves breaking down UI elements into reusable and modular components, promoting scalability and maintainability in your code base. You will learn how to create, compose, and manage these components efficiently, ensuring consistency and efficiency across your applications. In the realm of React JC, you will explore concepts such as JSX, JavaScript, XML, components, lifecycle methods, state management using hooks or Redux, and event handling equipping you with the skills to build complex user interfaces with ease. Alternatively, if you choose Angular, you will dive into features like data binding, dependency injection, routing and module management, laying the foundation for robust single-page applications. Number three, exploring back-end development, months five and six. As you progress into months five and six, your journey into full-stack development will lead you to explore the realm of back-end development. Here, the focus shifts toward server-side logic and data management. You'll begin by acquainting yourself with server-side languages such as Node.js, Python with frameworks like Django or Flask, or Ruby with Ruby on Rails. This phase involves understanding the syntax, features, and ecosystem of your chosen language, as well as setting up a development environment for back-end development. Key concepts including handling HTTP requests, implementing routing mechanisms, utilizing middleware for request processing, and integrating server-side templating for dynamic content generation. You will dive into the world of RESTful APIs, representational state transfer, which serves as the backbone for communication between the front end and back end of web applications. Understanding RESTful principles and implementing them effectively will be crucial for building robust and scalable web services. Number four, database management, months seven and eight. Month seven and eight mark is a significant phase in your journey as you delve into the realm of database management. Here you will explore how data is restored, retrieved, and manipulated with web applications. Your exploration will cover both relational databases such as MySQL or PostgreSQL and non-relational databases like MongoDB. This phase begins with deep dive into SQL, structured query language, the standard language for interacting with relational databases. You will learn about database design principles, normalization techniques, and SQL query optimization strategies. Additionally, you will explore advanced SQL topics such as transactions, stored procedures, and triggers, empowering you to build efficient and scalable database solutions. Alternatively, you will explore NoSQL databases, which offer flexibility in data modeling and scalability for handling large volumes of data. Concepts such as document stores, key value stores, and column family stores will be covered, along with practical examples of interacting with these databases using appropriate APIs or query languages.
5, integration and full stack development months 9 to 10. Transitioning into months 9 and 10, you'll merge your front end and back end skills to embark on full stack development endeavors. This phase focuses on integrating databases with the back end and building comprehensive web applications that encompass both client side and server side functionalities. You'll delve into concepts such as Object Relational Mapping ORM, which facilitates seamless interaction between your application code and the database. This includes mapping database entities to object-oriented programming constructs, implementing data validation, and managing database transactions effectively. Additionally, you'll explore authentication mechanisms, authorization techniques, and session management to ensure the security and scalability of your applications. On the front end, you'll dive into advanced topics such as client-side routing, lazy loading, and performance optimization, enhancing the user experience and application responsiveness. Experimentation with deployment strategies, including server configuration, continuous integration CI, and deployment pipelines, will prepare you to deploy your applications to production environments successfully. 6. Advanced Topics and Specialization Months 11 to 12 The final phase of your journey, spanning months 11 and 12, is dedicated to mastering advanced topics and specializing in specific areas of interest within full-stack development. Here, you'll have the opportunity to delve deeper into advanced back-end concepts such as microservices architecture, serverless computing, containerization using Docker, and cloud platforms example AWS, Azure, Google Cloud Platform. Specializing in these areas will equip you with the skills and knowledge needed to design scalable, resilient, and efficient back-end systems. On the front end, you'll explore advanced features and optimization techniques within your chosen frameworks or libraries. Consider specializing in areas such as data visualization using D3.js, real-time web applications using WebSockets, or progressive web app PW development to broaden your skill set and career prospects. Additionally, consider contributing to larger projects or open source initiatives to gain practical experience, collaborate with other developers, and make meaningful contributions to the developer community. Participation in hackathons, coding challenges, or tech meetups can also provide valuable networking opportunities and keep you updated with the latest industry trends and best practices. Full stack web development allows the developers to be on the upcoming frontier of technology to explore new solutions with leading companies. In addition to this, the growing industries are offering significant career potential and security to tech-savvy developers looking forward to making their career in the programming domain. If you aspire to start your full-stack development learning journey, Simply Learn has an amazing set of courses on full-stack development. Give these courses a try and initiate your learning pathway to becoming a full-stack developer.